Are you guys ready to see an alpha-sized Rhydon? This is sick. I don't even have my headset on, but what am I doing? Look at him. I have a Rhydon. He's gotta be big as fuck, right? Oh. My. Fuck. Sup, buddy? How is that not terrifying? This is a full alpha team right here. Look at that beautiful creature. Rhyhorn. Big Shinx. How about Cricketune? How about Dumbbell? And what about Big Papa Rock Snake? Look at my fucking alpha team. They are sick. <gasps> Look at him sitting down. What's up, big guy? Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, my fuck. He tried to attack me. All right. I can also level up. After what felt like hours of doing nothing and doing everything at the same time. There you are. You're the one, right? The one they... I've uh, been talking about the Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands. My younger sister Wanda's in the Survey Corps, you see. She went to the Mirelands too, but she never came back. You managed to track down Arzu with those in the boggy Mirelands, right? Did you find my sister Wanda too? What's she smell like? What? What does she smell like? Yeah, to search by her scent, weirdo. Maybe her kerchief. Her handkerchief? I got her scent. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda. Will do, brother. Let's make a team of evolutions. I thought about it. Give me my other star. You've made progress. You've earned yourself a star. Level four. Shit, it took the same amount of time to get level four as it did one through three. With you, you have officially attained the rank of fourth star. You can now use... Leading balls. Pokemon level 50 will love me. The fuck's a leading ball? Hyper potions. Oh, I will. I'm a dedicated mother lover. A leading ball. An improvement of the original heavy ball design. A ball that is too heavy to fly high and far, but is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. That looks sick, bro. That looks so sick. I can make two of them right now. But I also, great balls, though. I'll make two of these. I can make a hyper potion? I need, I need medicine things. I need to start getting those again. I just haven't been getting them. We have plenty of, of regular Pokeballs. All right. Let's go upstairs in advance. No, bro. I, I'm tired of you scamming me out of my money for bag space. Up and away we go. See how I roll into the scene? So you successfully calm Lilligan. I did. I did. And we're so happy. The two of us together. Even though she's not with me. Excellent. There may well be a time when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home world. A new home for ourselves. Oh, Pop Marietney. Free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space time. The frenzies are included by strange light, which likewise fall from that very same rift. But you have no connection to uh, the lightning. Isn't that right? None, bro. We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond something. I didn't read that last word. 
Yeah, I hate this. Yeah, some some Pokemon that I needed and when I played Brilliant Diamond, I needed to trade for. And I'm super upset. Like Electivire. Oh, piping hot potato. Bro, they eat this shit every single day. Yeah, they get expensive super, super, super quick. Good night's sleep. Truly, what more could I ask for? I don't disagree, yet I keep hoping the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, uh, or with carving out life here? Oh, existential crisis. I feel it. There's a flashy new recipe to try, Jeremy. Scatterbangs. I just got a recipe for flashbangs in a Pokemon game. Don't worry yourself, my girl. The wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to the heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll complete the Pokédex of ours someday. They be eating the fuck out of them potatoes. They eat it every day. I ain't even mad at it because I would eat sushi every day in my life. I'd get mercury poisoning. Like, I would just do it. Morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> it's me, Arzu. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now, you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm going to be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends. But I can make it work. Don't you worry. I wasn't worried at all, to be honest. Like your Ben 10 watch you got going on. Mm, anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Jeremy. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor to your establishment, Edith. Mama, Mr. Kamado, sir. Uh, so, the whole thing about the Ursaluna situation? If you are to work here in Jubilife, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you come from. Welcome, Arzu. I like you, Papa Mustache. He's cold beans. Are you? Oh, I thought I said are you. I'm like, bitch, we just talked. And you, Jeremy. You will come with me. To Prelude Beach. All right, man. Okay, do I? I don't have to walk back out there, do I? Like, you'll just lead me out there automatically? Oh, thank God. All right. These people are just arriving here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife. I like his outfit. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began, and is where a new life for us will begin as well. Or all life, or some shit. I kind of skipped it. We've heard that this region is inhabited by many powerful, frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard that Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife Village grow. Indeed, you have heard both correctly. And you've both heard correctly. The reason for such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Jeremy. Though the combined efforts of all of our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in this region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. <laughs> We have in a moment. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can truly operate safely. Something in my ear, bro. What is that? Wait. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Jeremy, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I really do fucking love Pokemon, to be honest. I'm going to say not really. No, psych. I love them. <sighs> Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the, in the galaxy team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the galaxy team, I am prepared to make the harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Oh, he about to break bad. Commander, Irida from the Pro Clan's alive. I've blurred all that together. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Jeremy, 
You should see for yourself how Juba Life is changing thanks to the Survey Corps effort. Ben, come to my office. Oh, so you're not, I'm not going to... Motherfucker, you couldn't have... You really left me out here, didn't you? That is so rude. Yeah, I, all I hear is Pokemon. You know what I see? Nothing. Yep up. Yep up. I can fast travel. You are right. You are right. That's fair. But they should have walked me back automatically. You know what I'm saying? What's up, brother, brother? Nice to see you again, Mr. Survey Corps. You got great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But we don't have enough helpers. Water type Pokemon? Bro, I have a gold duck for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use my gold duck because I love him. He's the only water type Pokemon. Oh, well, well, the bisexual brr, 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 but or one of these gross things. I'm going to I'm going to use my gold duck, bro, because I love gold duck. I want I want to see him working. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. I give him all alphas. I'm thinking about putting my alpha onyx out here. Wowie, your Pokemon. He's yeah. Irrigation sensation. Now I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Old Miller's going to have the fields bigger than ever. And I'm all done. Look at my gold duck working. Thanks to you, bro. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out for a little while, little while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap into different Pokemon ears, do some watering. And prosper. Oh, that's Yoda. Okay. You hear about the Ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. A Ponytail like no one's ever seen. Okay, in the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different than any other Ponytail. It's a little scary, to be honest. I told the professor he got all excited about researching it, so we agreed to have the Ponytail surveyed. Let's see, what's that? If you head out there, catch a strange Ponytail for us. It'll really help us out. Okay, I gotta catch a, a mysterious Ponytail. 90% completion in Hollow Knight. Denomi. That is fucking lit, and I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. 10 more percent to go. I'm going to go catch this Ponytail right now. Watch this. I'm on it. In there like swimwear. Maybe heights? Maybe heights. Maybe it's where we start. My nose itches. Can I even... Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, wait. Why am I... Why did I come here when I know where that rapid dash spawns, where Ponytail spawns? Duh. Wait, I need... Okay, I need all the medicines. This is free stuff. I wish I would have played Hollow Knight a little bit more. To be honest. Give me the medicine. I also need to sell stuff too. I have that nugget and some, some stardust. I can get more Stardust right here. Alright, there's a strange Ponytail over here, apparently. And I don't see it. Ponytail! Where are you, my friend? Oh, it's an encounter. Uh-oh. Bitch, that is a shiny ponytail. What do you mean it's a weird ponytail? It's a shiny ponytail. What is happening? Catch the strange ponytail. Where did it go? 
Oh, it's over there. Is the game just giving me a shiny right now? Oh my fuck. Hi, buddy. I want to put you in... Actually, that, that one ball, to be honest. I want to put you in this one because it's blue. Don't you dare pop out. I get to keep this shiny ponytail, right? Like, you ain't going to play with me. Like, I get to keep that shiny ponytail and get a shiny rapid dash. All right, dude. I went and did the thing. You're not taking my ponytail. I will murder you. I, yeah, I called. I don't mess around at all. You know, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised to see a ponytail herds out in the field lands. He couldn't wrap his head around the fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by. But now I know some po ponytail have blue flames. It's not such a stretch to think there might be all sorts of them out there. And I'm not just talking about ponytail. Who knows how many different colored Pokemon are out in the world. I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying its, its very best, its level best. It's weird. And I got the raspberries. And I got to keep the... Hello, you beautiful fucking creature. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's my guy right there. Oh, I gotta go to the basement. Oh, shit. I'm gonna do a backflip down the base. Oh, well, let me do a backflip. All right. Hello, my friend. That's nostalgic. An unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region. Maybe. I am part of the Survey Corps. A bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Blue vi a Pokemon with a blue vine hanging off of it. Tangla? Look at it. It's a solid lump of vines. And his aroma? It's the scent I remember. And these, the herbs from my hometown. I didn't expect the Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean vines. And are those vines moving? I wonder with Pokemon itself, it's like underneath all those. I've been wondering that for years. It has on shoes. Anyway, thank you for finding it. Oh, easy. Easy. I'm cracked. Don't worry. I'm only going to take a little bit of your vines. You're cutting its skin hair off. Oh, I have an idea. If I live with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this Roma every day. I would have just gave you him if you would have asked. Okay. All you do is ask. I'm going up the steps now. Roll into action. It wouldn't let me. I got cut off. I commend your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mireland. The next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastland. That's where that thing is. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastland. Allow me to explain. We have a lord in the coastland until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've got reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island. The lord used to call home. We have also received word from both the survey and supply corps, it seems. Some of their members were attacked by a ghost a while back around Fire Spit Island. There are serious concerns. Moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the de yeah, yeah, discretion, yeah, desecration of our last lord, lost lord. I have to pee so bad. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastland, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. I'm on it. I'll meet you in Cobalt Coastland. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know you must be a bewildering situation to drop into. I'm sorry, Jeremy. Think nothing of it. Jeremy's a talented and hardworking member of Galaxy Team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. Indeed, Jeremy quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. You there, boy. 
The next area is Cobalt. It is further afield from Crimson Mirelands, much farther. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastland. You know your mission, Fire Spit Island. All right, I'm out then. Say less. Here comes somebody stopping me from progressing. Ah, if it isn't Jeremy. Is this my cowboy friend? God damn it. Though I suppose it's been expected. I'm not doing that one. I would, though, though I suppose it's been expected that I'd run into you at the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? I'm going to Cobalt. Oh, Cobalt. Well, that's certainly a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her. Though not to her face. But, do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. The right stone could even involve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. Cleavor's evolved by a stone? Then the stones you find are very important. I had a Thunderstone, I already used it. A tale of stones that contain power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important the stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, I'll give you rather handy stones and things I found. Two grit pebbles. Oh, those things. I thought you meant thunderstones. Listen, buddy. You you coming around here with all this hoodlumness. HP and attack for sure. I have what, I have two of these. I have three. Okay. I appreciate them dropping that off for me. I'm gonna head out early. I have a headache all day. I'm not feeling great right now. Good night, Jer. Chat. See y'all later. See you later, creepy. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe, kid. I'm going to a oh no. Let's get it. Let's just let's just. Right on out there, shall we? Whoa, yeah. Eyeball itches, bro. Look at that big-ass pincer talent out there. Cobalt Coastland. This reminds me of when Ash caught Krabby. Ah, the Cobalt Coastland. A simply lovely corner of Haisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What types of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ha! I simply can't wait to study them all. My brother pulled out a camera. Now I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So any questions before we get started? About that warden. Wardens, in fact, Pearl Clan. Yeah, Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be of some sort. Yeah, digging those uncurious occasions. Bro, I'm ready. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I can buy stuff from you, right? Literally nothing of importance. Great. Okay. We're getting dialogue as soon as we got dialogue? Let me explore. What's your Pokemon fit? She looks sad. Oh. Is that the song Slow King played to summon Lugia? I do love the flute. It feels as if it, if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. 
So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You, who have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. Lady, you don't want this problem. You got Glaceon again. What's the start button even? I've never actually pressed this. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Is this like a log? Oh, it's a 2v1 fight. Hold up. Can I summon a second Pokemon? What kind of shit is this? I can't. What's this button do? Ain't this some shit? Uh, I'm just gonna do Swords Dance. Yeah. Baby doll eyes, good start for them. Okay, my stats are back to normal. Fuck me, quick attack. Yeah. God, dog, that was sick. Ice beam. Didn't do too much damage. I'm frostbite. I'm frostbit. I'm not actually frozen. Oh, shit. That's actually kind of sick. Oh, wait. I meant to do that to Eevee. Frostbite's a, a damage over time? It's a dot, bro? Bro, Sam right out here getting his shit pushed in. Glaceon's down for the count, though. Did any of my Pokemon have fighting moves? I think Rhyhorn does. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Rhyhorn's a big and look at the size difference. Oh, all you did was tickle me. I'm about to hit you with a big ass rock smash strong style. I did see the Among Us 2 trailer. Yeah, Futurama coming back, lit. I didn't play uh, the, uh, not, a, not Among Us, Wolf Among Us. I didn't play the first one. I know, very sad. I said Among Us, very sus. She got wrecked. It's a lot of XP, bro. Now I feel better. The world's so vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemane. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> All right. With you, I think with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the, the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastland, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends to no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be warden at all. But Lena? That is to say, Polina. She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan, we strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having all this, having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise a Pokemon she can look after. Oh, I'm, I'm, I got you. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it would silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I did. I did. Cleavor. That's my buddy. I'll find her. Don't worry. You should find a slope uh, leading up to the edge. Yes, ma'am. Look at the kitty. I already found the kitty. It's been like a minute and I found the cat. Where the hell's my Pokeballs? I gave it food. And I got a glam out. Look at him. He doesn't even care that I'm here. Here, you can have my last banana. Only because you're cute. I want to put you in a fat ball. <laughs> oh, 
I love him. I also like these little bastards, too. I don't know why, but I do. We didn't even hear nothing. Go away. Turn around every now and then. You don't even see me standing right here. Let me get that scorpion bussy. I had it for a second. I wonder if we can catch big dog right here. I doubt it, right? Is that an alpha? It is an alpha. Holy, he looks... I don't know, I thought that was just like his normal size. Extra fat ball. I'm an alpha catcher, mother lover. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to... I saw a drift loon too. A drift blim, sorry. There's a drift blim right there. Sense of awareness is negative a thousand. I'm an alpha catcher, bro. I'm an alpha catcher. Oh my, bro, I'm just, just winging it. I'm straying so far off the fucking path. Uh-oh. No shot I get this one, right? Get in the ball. Okay, that's fine. No, we'll attack. Yeah, we'll attack. Me and you. Me and you right here. Me and you right here. Yeah. Yeah, big level 50. Iron Tail. Close combat, this mother lover. There we go. There we go. You can Oko it. That's fine. That's fine. He's almost dead. I'm gonna try another heavy ball. Or leading ball, sorry. I see iron chunks out there. Get the ball, whore. I'm an alpha catcher. <gasps> Please stop. No. Why did I panic? Why did I fucking... I literally panicked. I literally panicked seeing Togepi. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Yeah. This is my guy right here. Okay. Please stop walking towards me. You're so massive. Big gains. Getting the ball. You don't see me? You don't see me. You know why you don't see me? Because you have red eyes. Your vision's bad. It's okay. Forty Machoke, an Alpha Machoke, bro, which only means it leads to an Alpha Machamp. You know, if I ever decide to do one, I'm an Alpha Catcher. Oh, you bitch! Come at me then. You want no part of me? You know why? I'm an Alpha Catcher. Hopefully, I don't Oko you though. Nah, I wouldn't Oko. Just a lot of damage. A lot of damage.
that wasn't cool. That's so weird to me. Too drowsy to move. I'll try a leading ball. Just getting the ball, artillery. It's okay. Do you know why it's okay? Because I'm an alpha catcher. We're, we're so cracked at video games around here. 